All right, in this video, let's take a look at our third layout related component, which is the grid component. The grid component is useful for creating two dimensional and responsive layouts. Let's understand its usage and props with an example. We are once again going to continue working with the MUI layout component. Begin by importing the grid component. Wrap the JSX with a React fragment. And below the stack component, invoke the grid component. Now the grid component has two variations, a grid container for the parent and grid item for the children. Let's create a parent with four children elements. So within the grid component, specify four more grid components. On the parent grid component, we add the container prop. On the children grid components, we add the item prop. Within each grid item, let's add a box component with the text item 1 to item 4. Also, on each box for better visualization, I'm going to add a background color. So BG color is equal to primary dot light and some padding. If we take a look at the browser, we see the four items. Our grid though is too close to the stack above. So let's add some margin in the vertical direction on the container. So margin in the vertical direction and let's set it to four. All right, now let's understand how this grid component works. The grid component under the hood uses the Flexbox module. The grid consists of 12 columns. Each item in the grid can take up one or more columns as its width. There are five breakpoints, each corresponding to a certain device width. We have access for mobile, SM for tablet, MD for desktop, LG and Excel for larger monitors. We can assign integer values to each breakpoint, which indicates how many of the 12 available columns are occupied by that item when the viewport satisfies that breakpoint constraints. For example, on each grid item, we can specify excess is equal to six. What this does is for all devices, mobile size and above, assign six out of 12 columns for the grid item. If we head to the browser, you can see we have two rows of items. Since six is half of 12, each item takes up half the available width. Let's now set excess is equal to three, nine, nine, and finally three. Head to the browser and you can see item one takes up to three out of 12 columns or 25% of the width. Item two takes up 75% of the width. Same with items three and four, 75% and 25%. Hopefully, you're now getting the hang of the 12 column grid layout. Remember, the 12 columns are imaginary and used only to calculate the width of the item. Also, we see the white space around since we've added padding for our app component. Now, it's also possible to specify different widths for different device sizes. For example, We can specify excess is equal to 12 on all grid items and then SM is equal to 6. The items will now take up half the total width on tablet device size and larger. Head back to the browser and you can see each item takes 50% of the available width. 
However, if I reduce the width to a mobile device size, you can see the items will now take up the full width as we have specified excess is equal to 12. So excess is equal to 12, SM is equal to 6. This, if you ask me, is pretty great. Now, if you want to equally distribute the available width between all the items, you can rely on auto layout. So what we are going to do is add the breakpoint XS, but not assign an integer value. If you now take a look at the browser, all the items are of equal width. If you assign XS is equal to six on the second item, the second item only takes up six columns and the remaining space is equally distributed between the first, third and fourth items as you can see. Now we can also specify XS is equal to auto instead of XS is equal to six, in which case the size of the item depends on the natural width of its content. You can see item two takes up only the necessary width of the text and the remaining space is distributed between the three items. Now the last prop I want to showcase is the spacing prop. On the grid container, we can specify spacing is equal to two. And this will add 16 pixels between the columns and the rows. Take a look at the browser and you can see 16 pixels between the columns since we have only one row. You can also specify separate row and column spacing. The props are row spacing is equal to two and column spacing is equal to one. Let's also go with excess is equal to six. If you head to the browser, you can see the gap between rows is twice the gap between columns. This is pretty much the basics of the grid component in Material UI. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content on Material UI.